for those who don't know Gumbao School also offers degree in any course that you want to go and study to Havana Media. My name is Bonfeso Wino and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. Now, <laughs> uh, shockingly I've heard from Boli Halwale that uh, Gumbao school offers degrees and that is why there are some of the senators that make a lot of noise and not knowing that uh, their degrees and maybe uh, their degrees they, they've attained them simply because uh, there, there was this uh, Gumbao school, the school for, for, for grown-ups that was uh, was started to at least give them some knowledge in as much as doctors uh, have been settled in which they have not been they, they're still complaining but at least they've been settled and they've uh, they've been told to go back to work yesterday something happened uh, at uh, at the, in the, at the Senate. And that is what I want us to, do, to discuss. That is what I want us to talk about. Ringei found himself uh, in a very tight situation whereby he was, he was forced to defend himself from both Sifuna and uh, Boni Kalwale. And, uh, you know, this one of Boni Kalwale was very much touching when, uh, when Boni Kalwale is saying that uh, Chiringei should not make a lot of noise because uh, the people that uh, they are trying to intimidate, the doctors that uh, they are trying now to to use the, this opportunity to to pin them down got a's in every subject got a's in physics got a in swahili got a in english got a in mathematics got a in chemistry got a in biology so these these doctors got a's in all the subjects while cheringay got a C minus in Swahili, got a C minus in English, got a C minus in mathematics, got a C minus in biology, got a C minus in in all the subjects. So in short, he was trying to say that uh, let us not use th this opportunity to intimidate these doctors because these people are very much important in our society. And I told you there's a video that I, that I played and I said that these doctors plays a very big role in our lives. So if we try to pin them down, if, 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 okay, I want us to reason here that uh, doctors had been on strike since, now it's, it, 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 it was almost two months, that is almost, almost 60 days. So within these 60 days, how many patients have lost their lives? How many people have suffered simply because doctors are not in hospitals? I wanted to listen to the way Boni Halwale was trying to explain to uh, Cheringay that let us not use this opportunity to pin these people down simply because we have got, uh, we have got the power maybe to, to either sack them or employ them. Listen to him. Mr. Speaker, I request the Senator of Nandi to be apologetic. In fact, it's a privilege to him that we have introduced a system of adult education kumbaro in degrees. <laughs> Otherwise, traditionally, he should not appear in court at all. Because it's only kumbaro that has allowed him to become a lawyer. He should be told the people he's berating are the same ones who got an A in maths. An A in physics, an A in chemistry, an A in everything. When he was struggling with C minus, C, those kind of things. We must pay doctors. What is the big deal? And what's your point of order, Senator Madago? Honorable Speaker. Understanding what the 105 statement of fact, I don't dispute that doctors require A's in grades to qualify, but can the Senator for Kakamega prove that Senator Cherargia had C minuses and C? Can he provide evidence or withdraw the apologies? 
Mr. Speaker, if it pleases the Senator of uh, Washington, I have withdrawn. But withdrawing does not change the fact. It simply means that the fact has been removed on the menu. Mr. Speaker, I don't know. I, I, I'm very disturbed when I hear a lot of voices on the minority side pushing the correct agenda. And the majority on the, on the majority side defending the wrong agenda. I wonder, who told members of parliament that you are elected to come to parliament so as to support the government even when in its policy the government is wrong? Who told you? But Nakumisha was not left behind. Nakumisha was also mentioned uh, Boni Kalwale said that uh, Nakumincha, you are our sister, we love you. But uh, what you're trying to do, what you're trying to say that you're going to do is not your work. Just stick to your plant, stick to your role as a CS of health. Don't go beyond that. Do the agreement with the government and then please make sure that these doctors are okay with what they have been given or they, what they are, they, are, or they are going to be given, but don't involve yourself in things that does not matter to you. Listen to what he said to Nakominja. Nakominja, relax. <laughs> you are our kid sister. Relax completely. I told you, you were in Ekolomani a few months ago, and you said you're going to close a go hospital because you found the mortuary you're not going to close. You're going to demote it from level four to some other level because the mortuary service and ambulance service was having a problem. That is not your role, Minister. Your role is to correct, to improve where it is not working. I want to appeal to my sister and tell her that when your day will come, you will be alone. Ask Linturi. Today, Linturi is facing the music alone. Accountability is an individual issue. Go all out of your way, minister, and help the government to fix the problem of doctors returning on duty. Talking of uh, Sifuna, <laughs> Uh, Sifuna said that uh, there are some of the that there are some senators who are just parroting in the parliament in the other uh, senate, uh, not understanding what other people are going through or what uh, the people are going through. And uh, Sifuna was trying to talk about this thing of uh, okay, there's been flood. The flood has been there for almost let's say something like now there has been flood since uh, 24th of last month since 24th probably 20, 20th 24th of last month the the, the the seriousness of the flood started at uh, on, on on 24th so from 24th of last month up to now there is almost uh, two weeks if i'm not wrong so he was saying that within these two weeks the president uh, did not say anything but uh ended up coming out publicly and giving promises promise, promises which we know very well that are not genuine promises saying that uh, he's going to give uh, uh, 10,000 Kenya shillings to the people. So every, ho every household of the 40,000 households that, are being dis that have been displaced in Nairobi County, every household is going to be paid 10,000 shillings so that they can find alternative accommodation as we plan for their future as a government so that every Kenyan has a home and a place to call home. There is something that... Uh... The president himself said, I'm not talking about the president in a negative way, but I'm just trying to, to figure this thing out. How many things that have been said by the government that uh, it's going to be done to the people, but it has failed? How can you tell the people that uh, there are some of the things that, you know, these guys, have suffered, these people are suffering. These people have got nowhere to go. They've been misplaced. They have got no houses. They've got no food. They've got no clothing. So coming to tell them that... Uh, you are, go you are going to do something. Instead of saying that uh, I have, we have done something. So from this thing that we've done, you can benefit. 
you are telling them that we are going to you know there is a big difference you know these people need need, need someone that can uh, can help them you know there is a big difference between we have done something and we are going to do something we have done something it means that uh, these people are in need or of what you've done but saying that you are going to do it it means that uh, these people should still put some hopes in you and uh, it's like they are not they are not yet in that place whereby they 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 only need your help so saying that you are going to do it's just like saying that i'm going to send you money or i'm sending you you know I'll, i'm going to send you there's a, there's a possibility there's a high chances that you'll not receive it but saying that we are we are we have done it it means that it's it's already there so that is what uh, as ifuna was saying to say that uh, there is no way of coming to tell people that you are going to do it yet we know very well that there are a lot of things that you promised these people that you will do to them but you've never done i wanted to listen to the way sifuna uh, was saying and the way he was calling chiringei that uh, he is a parody a parody senator but uh, also i like to give you uh, give you chance over the comment section so that you can also tell me what you think but just a reminder if it is the first time that we're meeting please don't forget to go to the subscription area click the subscribe button you like and also share normally say that feedback is normally the key thing in any form of communication don't forget to give me a, a comment and tell me where you're watching us from and how these videos are reaching you until we meet again i've been your host bonfis you know bye bye mr speaker allow me to inform the honorable mungatana that in fact the announcement by the president yesterday was on plans that his government is intending to put in place to help the people of nairobi and this is coming two weeks after people have uh, been moved from their houses after their houses have been washed away i was extremely disappointed honorable speaker that instead of coming and addressing the people of Madare about what the government has already done, the head of state was talking about things that he's going to do. Where does he think these people have been living for the past two weeks? But I was expressing my disappointment. Mr. Speaker, this rain in Nairobi started beating us seriously on the 20th of April. By the 24th of April, we, the leadership of Nairobi, were calling for the national government to declare this a, a national disaster because our own county was overwhelmed. I hear people parroting about 2% of, of, of the resources of the county being directed to the disaster account. It's not as if county governments receive all the money that is allocated to them by, uh, to this, uh, by this house and then separate 2% and put it in their account. As we speak right now, if you are a serious person who follows devolution, you know that the county governments have not received money since January. The equitable share of county governments has not reached the counties by Jan uh, uh, from January. So, Mr. Speaker, when you hear somebody saying about, uh, talk about 2%, <laughs> 2% of what? You should talk about 2% of money that you have put in the accounts of the county governments. Mr. Speaker, my disappointment is in the fact that from the 24th of this month, of last month, people have been sleeping outside. Then you come and tell us that you're going to give 10,000 shillings to the uh, affected households. We have lost over 10,000 households, Mr. Speaker. Where do you think these people have been sleeping? That is my disappointment and I want to dissuade the Honorable Mungatan. Don't wait for Ruto's money. It's not coming for your people. Mr. Speaker, as I speak right now as a senator of Nairobi, I senator, can confirm I can confirm that no money senator, has reached the people of senator Nairobi from the national government. So senator don't tell us about 2%.